So before we get into the actual one point perspective, I'm going to draw a cube here. And the reason I'm going to draw the cube is I just want to illustrate a couple of important points. Uh, first of all, I am going to highlight three of the vertical lines on this cube to illustrate that these lines will represent the height of our cube. So I'm doing this in blue. Then I'm going to grab green and do these diagonal lines going back to show that this is going to represent the depth of the cube. And then finally, I'm going to use a pink marker here and draw some dashed lines, which is going to represent the width of our cube. This will come in handy when we're talking about vanishing points. So flip open to a new page in your sketchbook and line your ruler up horizontally. And we're going to start by drawing our horizon line. Then I'm going to place a vanishing point in the middle here, although you can place the vanishing point anywhere you want on the horizon line. I'm going to start by drawing a square. It's okay also if it looks like a rectangle too, but we're going to practice using cubes and boxes. So finish that off, and then what we're going to do is bring back the three lines to our depth vanishing point, which in this case, with one point perspective, we only have a depth vanishing point. So I'm going to bring the three lines back from the angles that we will see on the cube. I'm not actually going to draw that top right line in, although sometimes you'll see it done uh, with a dashed line. So now what I'm going to do is draw some parallel lines to close up this cube. So I slide my ruler down um, from the bottom and then from the side, if that's helpful for you to get that line, because you need to make sure it is parallel to get that cube. Then from here, you can go ahead and erase those lines going back to the vanishing point and you're finished. You have a cube in one point perspective. In this case, we're looking at it um, from a worm's eye view, looking up at it because it's above the horizon line. Now let's go ahead and try to add a, another box here, just so you can see what it would look like with something stacked on top. Um, and then also like what a little overlap can look like in one point perspective. So just starting, this time I'm drawing more of a rectangle so I can get a box. Um, bring that back to the vanishing point just like you did before. And these two don't run into the other box, but notice how this third line does. So rather than drawing it through this one, I'm going to draw a little bit, stop, and then continue it. And then you can decide how far you want to trim this up, you know. Um, I'm going to have this box be a little bit bigger, so I'm doing my vertical line. Again, it's parallel, and then that little bit of that horizontal line, and then I can go ahead and erase the lines going back to my vanishing point. Next, let's practice uh, some boxes going back in space, just so we can get a better understanding of depth in one point perspective, and also how objects get smaller as they move back toward the vanishing point. This time I'm working below my horizon line just so you can see a different viewpoint and I'm starting again with my square and again if it looks more rectangular that's fine I'm going kind of quick here so um, bring your three edges back to the vanishing point just like you did before again I'm not going to draw that fourth edge back because you don't see it but if you'd like to draw a dashed line go ahead I'm making my top horizontal line to close off the box, again, it is parallel, and then I'm bringing that vertical line down. Again, that's parallel. This time, I'm going to bring my ruler a little ways back, and I'm going to start another box. So I'm doing another uh, horizontal line and vertical line. Then I'm going to use my eraser and erase these three little um, lines that were going back to the vanishing point. So that clears up that area to become the front of the next box. We'll have to add in a couple lines here too. So I'm lining my ruler up doing one vertical line, lining it up and doing one horizontal line. 
and there's the start of my next box. So bringing my ruler back, I can trim up the box, get the next one in there. Um, so do my horizontal line, my vertical line, and there we go, there's the second one. So I'm moving my ruler back again to create another space. So I'm not measuring this, I'm just eyeing it for the sake of the demonstration. Um, but again, erasing those three little lines. Now I'm bringing my ruler back in, drawing a vertical line and a little horizontal line. And there I've got the front of my next box. So you notice as I'm continuing to draw these here, that these are getting smaller as we're going back toward the vanishing point. So that's the whole idea with one point perspective is we're, we're showing depth uh, in space here. So as I continue going and they're getting smaller and smaller in here, I'm just kind of showing you without my ruler even just to, you know, quickly illustrate this point that 